Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. So, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse originally released in 2018. A year I remember fondly as the year I celebrated the death of Stan Lee. Uh, I think you meant to say mourned the death of Stan Lee? No. I meant to say celebrate it, because that's what I did. I put on my favorite Green Goblin costume, and I danced around the sitting room with gay abandon. Oh, poor Stan. Poor Stan? There was nothing poor about him. He had enough money to buy Wakanda and put a prostitute on every street corner. We don't mourn people who are more famous than we are, Bertram. Uh, what about people less famous than us? Uh, no, no. If you are less famous than us, then you're clearly not worth our attention. Um, so who can we mourn? Uh, each other, Bertram. And of course, when I say each other, I mean me. You can mourn me when I go. Uh, I'll have a party when that happens. What was that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Garbage film. And let me tell you why. <clears throat> Within two minutes, this film is making fun of a far superior Spider-Man film. Terrible decision! You do not make jokes at the expense of films which are clearly better than yours. Within 10 minutes, they have the audacity to kill Peter Parker's Spider-Man so that Miles Morales can be the lead of the film. Terrible decision! Miles has all these comedy parts where he smashes into buildings like it's a bloody Tom and Jerry cartoon. Terrible decision. They gender swap Otto Octavius, which is something I hate when they do that. Please stop taking villains and gender swapping them for God's sake. It annoys me. Oh, clearly. Shut up, Bertram. The Green Goblin's design is awful. Terrible decision. Kingpin looks like a bloody building with a face on it. Terrible decision. Gwen Stacy is attractive. Uh, surely that's a good thing? Yes, yes, but she has an awful haircut and looks like she listens to Avril Lavigne. And anyone who listens to Avril Lavigne should meet their end by firing squad. So another terrible decision by the makers of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. What else? Oh yes, this film features Spider-Pig and Penny Parker, an anime schoolgirl with a stupid robot mech thing. Terrible decision times a hundred. Uh, did I already talk about the comedy? Uh, you did. Oh, what about the soundtrack? Uh, no. Good. <clears throat> the soundtrack is awful. Too much R&B slash rap bollocks for my taste. So, a terrible decision there on behalf of the composer of this film. Now, I could go on. But I think we've already established that I really do not like this film. And before any of you commoners say, 
You obviously don't like Spider-Man. I say to you, commoner with the stupid voice, I love Spider-Man. I love each and every single one of the live-action films. Yes, Spider-Man 3 as well. In fact, this'll, this'll really grind your gears. Spider-Man 3 was, may still be, my favorite Spider-Man film. Suck on that. Speaking of sucking, I actually rather think I would rather get a blowjob from Jaws than watch this garbage film ever again. And no, I will not be watching the sequel because it looks like this film on drugs. And drugs are bad. So I will not endorse or support it. Um, that doesn't make any sense. You don't make any sense, Bertram. Therefore, I declare that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is dog shit. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer. And that is to always stay obsessed with movies. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Oh, and if uh, any of you out there don't like my opinion of this film, well, I invite you to shampoo my crotch.